had an interaction with somebody several months ago now. It's been on my mind ever since. It's still bothering me a little bit. I thought I'd share it with you and see what you think. So I was at the gym. I'd finished up. I was just getting dressed and I was getting ready to leave. And as I was doing that, another fellow walked into the same area. Now he more hobbled, limped, than walked. It was obvious that he was hurting. And I watched him for a second and I immediately thought, I bet his back is hurting. Either that or his knees. I know that limp. I had that limp when my back hurt. That's what I thought. And then before I could even catch it, this thought, more of a judgment flashed through my mind where I noticed he had a bit of a gut on him and I thought a few less beers on the weekend would help him lose that which would help his back. <laughs> and no sooner had that come into my awareness before I immediately felt ashamed of myself. You know, I don't want those kinds of negative thoughts or judgments being any part of who I am. And I wasn't proud at all that I'd even let that notion come through my mind. So I thought, well, one of the ways to be maybe proactive from this point from there is to reach out to this guy and actually create a little bit of a connection. So I said to him something like, man, it looks like you're hurting. What is it that's got, that's got you hobbled? He looked up and he said, I appreciate you asking. He said, both of my legs were shattered in a car accident and the doctors are telling me that they're never going to be completely or that I'll never be completely recovered but I'm just at the point now where I can come here to the gym and at least get the blood flowing and get whatever use I can out of them then he said but that's not the worst part because people can see and understand that yeah I understood it I got it wrong so the bad part the worst part is from the brain trauma that I had from that injury that I didn't have any negative symptoms of right after the accident but months later started to have short-term memory loss blackouts blurred vision it says when people can't see that and they don't understand that and that's the really tough part of it <laughs> you know we think we know what's going on with other people but we don't know and so many of us go through life absolutely convinced that it's other people and other things that need to change when in fact the truth is that what we really need to be taking a harder look at is ourselves <laughs>